The peak is the time when the most frogs and toads are breeding in the vernal pools. While we do have late breeders later on in the season, we have one final video to offer the highlights from the American toads at the peak of breeding season for frogs and toads. Looks like we're gonna get a break with the rain. Um, I'm documenting on my camera right here as well. So let me show my camera, uh, the phone. So we're actually going live right now on Facebook. And this is just super cool. Just exploring the vernal pools during a thunderstorm. Um, it's probably a little bit too early in terms of the thunderstorm for frogs and toads coming out because whenever the road is covered in water and um, you know it's just a downpour or after it's rained that's really the best time to find frogs and toads it's also the worst time to be on the road because you could hit them these are all wood frog tadpoles and the way that I know this is because I actually got a chance to watch the frogs in Amplexus and uh, just reproducing all these little black dots that's wood frog tadpoles so you can see right now oh man there's more here than I thought wow there are no wood frogs no spotted salamanders no spring peepers over here which I'm kind of surprised about but vernal pools are not permanent bodies of water they're temporary um, wood frogs, American toads, spring peepers, and a few others, they lay their eggs in these temporary bodies of water. So that's um, not a good thing if you're a tadpole here, and it's been a pretty dry spell. So uh, I'm getting pretty good shots here on my camera. I'm going to probably have to put my hood up here in a second. But this is what these tadpoles actually need. Um, they, they actually need it to be... A little bit more wet. They need rain. <laughs> yep, this is fun. Looks like this could be the last wood frog, guys. The last wood frog out for their breeding season. I'm gonna go take a look in a couple other places, but the American toads are calling. Got another one, guys. I don't know if he's going to the artificial pools or if he is just going to call from here. Uh, I have heard a couple wood frogs off in the distance, a ton of spring peepers, and we're getting ready to go to this site where the American toads are breeding. So we're going to try and take a look at those uh, who are here and see what's going on. But this is the first toad at the breeding site. So the American toads are out here at the vernal sites. This is one. They must not like me. Oh, we're gonna get some heavy rain. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Female American toads seem to have a little bit more red and male American toads seem to have a little bit more yellow. And what does that mean? It might be difficult with this specific toad but let me show you a male right next to us. You see how that's yellow? But you can see there's still a bunch of toads running around. I'm kind of taken away from them a little bit. But that's okay. Oh, you get a chance. Oh. It is unbelievable to see this, but this is how American toads and many other amphibians breed. The female will have the male on the back. You can kind of see what I was talking about. The red pigmentation versus the yellowish. Um, now, the, the male has to stay on the back of the female until she starts to lay this foam-like substance. And the foam-like substance uh, well, her, the eggs will come out, the foam-like substance will come out, um, the male will be fertilizing the eggs, so um, it's external fertilization. When the cool thing is, these aren't the only two that are mating. I'm recording on my uh, Sony camera at the same time as going live, so I have a little bit of extra 
maintenance here. So the toads are out, the toads are mating. Really cool to see this. Um, I don't know that anybody's been getting this on video lately. Um, we've had some dry spells. The job to get a couple of toads on camera here on my Sony while I'm rolling live. It's just unbelievable the footage here that we have. Um, just how many toads are out here. Just showcasing here just some of the animals that are out here. Um, tonight it's just American toads. There are other frogs and toads that do come to these spots. Um, not as many frogs and toads breed at vernal pools later in the year, so um, American toads are some of the last to do this. You can see, see the males are trying to dislodge the one that's on top of the female, so that way they can breed with the female. Um, they're continuously battling to try and grab a hold of her so that way they can breed with her. Like I said, I'm just trying to get some nice footage here for the camera. I don't think I got this on camera last year. I don't think that I got toads fighting like this. So this is pretty cool. You don't think that frogs and toads are competitive and stuff like that, but during the breeding season, this is all they have. Um, you know, continue to further their genes and survive. That's what they're fighting for. So, um, it's just a really good shot. That's why I'm hanging out here a little bit longer, guys. Just seeing the toads continuously battling for this female. Um, I don't know, you don't normally get a chance to see that in suburban and urban areas. So it's pretty cool. Maybe it's not a good time for everybody to be out here, but for this one it is. He's getting his mate tonight. You wanna see something cool, guys? There's a wood frog tadpole right there. They're mating in the same area, but super cool to see another breeding pair. So the camera, this has happened before, but I ran out of storage. So I ran out of storage. I have to record here with the phone, but th this is prime time for American toad breeding season. Look at that. That's actually a really nice shot here. Beautiful. I can catch him he might go underwater but there's a wood frog there he goes that's what I figured I at least got a small sign of him there's still a wood frog in here let me see if I can get up close enough to the wood frog unbelievable there he is Hold on. I don't know if I can get him off in the distance see the eye shine right there let me show you with my finger right here is where it's gonna be See it? That's the wood frog. Can't really see him too well. Try to get closer, guys. There he is. It's a male wood frog in a vernal pool with American toads. I've never seen this before in my life, the two together. But it's really awesome. Has me all fired up.
He is not giving up. Oh, I see why. Look at that. Completely missed her. Look at that. There's another female. Right there. They just completely missed her. I don't know why she's not good enough, but they're really going after the male that has her. Look at that, he just is a disruptor. Look at how he's trying so hard to get him off. Look at that, it's like wrestling. What are these guys, like MMA fighters next? Look at that, he's like trying to take him off. He might get him. And meanwhile, okay, you see that, watch this. Look at that, perfectly good female right here. Look at this sweet little toad. But instead of, you know, instead of getting an actual female he could, he wants to be a knucklehead and try to rip that one off. Spotted salamander. How about that? Uh oh, we got a fourth one. Look at that. This male. However persistent he is, he's not giving up. But we have a very consistent male that is on top of this female. He's kicking her off, but nobody seems to remember that this female is here this whole time. She wants nothing to do with this little guy, though. I'm sorry, but I don't think she wants to mate with you. Look at this. Hot pursuit of her. Oh, there's a redback salamander there. Wow. National Geographic, you gonna give me a call? You gonna hit me up? Redback salamander right there. There's that female toad that nobody had found. But the little toad right here to my left has found her and she wants nothing to be done with. She does not want to mate with him, so he's retreating. Beautiful shot of him. He's making a nice little cameo because they're not normally out during this time of the year like this, especially not by a vernal pool. Really cool to see him. Hi, how you doing, sir? He probably made it in this vernal pool, to be honest with you. I really doubt he's coming to the pond, the vernal pool, I should say, to, uh, you know, to mate. It's way past the mating season for spotted salamanders. We are not in the realm of the early risers anymore. We're nearing the peak of frog and toad breeding season. Salamanders take part in that as well. The only difference is we focus on frogs and toads at PA Woods and Forests. But I gotta say, I love spotted salamanders. I have a soft spot for them, so you will see them countless times. Never gets old. This is just unbelievable. So many toads are out here. It's always a fun time for me watching the American toads gather in abundance in the vernal pools. While it's always the best time for me, I know that it is brief and it has to come to an end. So while we say goodbye to the American toads as they wrap up the peak for frog and toad breeding season, we know that we have one last part to offer you guys who've been watching Frog Week from the beginning. We have to finally get to the conclusion with that being said, the frogs and toads that breed in the late spring and early summer are coming. Stay tuned for that. Watch, share with your friends, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.